Welcome to UK Learnings. After watch this video, please subscribe to our channel to give us your support. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get upcoming videos. Good luck for your exam. How much more than the normal braking distance should you allow in icy weather? A. Twice the normal distance. B. Seven times the normal distance. C. Five times the normal distance. D. Ten times the normal distance. The correct answer is D. Ten times the normal distance. In icy and snowy weather, your stopping distance will be up to ten times further than in good dry conditions to reduce the risk of skidding take extra care when braking accelerating and changing direction part of the msm routine is referred to by the abbreviation psl what does psl stand for a position speed look b position slow down life saver c position speed life saver d position signal look the correct answer is a position speed look regardless of a driver's experience the mirrors signal maneuver msm routine should be an integral part of their driving the maneuver part is broken down into p position position your vehicle correctly and in good time s speed Adjust your speed as necessary for the maneuver. L. Look. Look for other traffic or road users when you reach a point from which you can see. Assess the situation. Then decide whether it's safe to proceed and act accordingly. A car driving test candidate with sight in only one eye passes the test. What restriction will the examiner place on their license? A. The license will be restricted to vehicles with engines of less than 1500 cc. B. The license will be restricted to daytime driving only. C. The license will be restricted to adapted vehicles only. D. The license won't be restricted. The correct answer is D. A successful candidate with vision in only one eye will be given an unrestricted pass certificate. As with all drivers, the licensing authority, DVLA, must be notified of any medical conditions when applying for a license and when those conditions develop or change. Which road users can use a toucan crossing? A. Moped riders and cyclists. B. Horse riders and pedestrians. C. Horse riders and cyclists. D. Cyclists and pedestrians. The correct answer is D. Most pedestrian crossings are for pedestrians only, but the Toucan Crossing has been designed to be shared by both pedestrians and cyclists. You can expect to find a Toucan Crossing where a cycle route and a footpath cross a road at the same point. What should you do when you're cornering on an icy or snow-covered road? A. Drive slowly throughout, keeping the engine speed high. B. Approach the corner at a constant speed using the lowest gear possible. C. Approach the corner at a steady speed, using the highest gear possible. D. Hold the clutch pedal down and control your speed with the brakes. The correct answer is C. Time your driving and adjust your speed so that you don't have to use your brakes while you're cornering. Braking on an icy or snow-covered bend is potentially dangerous. The cornering force will continue to pull you outwards and the tires will have very little grip. This could cause your vehicle to skid. What should your first action be when you're approaching a hazard? A. Flash your headlights. B. Look in the mirrors. C. Get in the right gear. D. Reduce speed. The correct answer is B. You can't deal safely with a hazard by looking solely ahead. You'll also need to consider how your actions will affect any drivers behind. As soon as you recognize a hazard, 
use the mirrors to assess how other road users will affect your planning. What should a driver do just before they move off? A. Look around. B. Use the mirrors. C. Engage first gear. D. Give a signal. The correct answer is A. When moving off from the side of the road, you shouldn't drive out into the path of an approaching vehicle, either behind or ahead. To make sure there's no vehicle in the blind area, drivers need to look around just before moving off. You're going to stop the car. How can you use the gears to help slow the car? A. Changing gear isn't always necessary. B. A downward gear change should be made. C. First gear should always be selected. D. Second gear should always be selected. The correct answer is A. When stopping a car, a gear change is often not needed. Modern cars have powerful brakes and tires with good grip. This makes it generally unnecessary to select a lower gear before stopping. When can you enter this hatched area? A. Never under any circumstances. B. When necessary and you can see it's safe to do so. C. Only in an emergency. D. Only to overtake large vehicles. The correct answer is B. This hatched area is bordered by broken lines. In normal driving, there shouldn't be a need to enter or cross the hatched area when exceptional circumstances arise. For example, the need to pass a temporary obstruction or a slow moving vehicle. You may drive on a hatched area when you're sure that it's safe to do so. Where hatched areas are bordered by a solid line, you mustn't enter the area except in an emergency. What should you do if another vehicle is taking a long time to overtake you? A. Ignore the other vehicle. B. Accelerate to allow sufficient room for it to move back to the left. C. Continue at a constant speed. D. Slow down and let it pass. The correct answer is D. If a vehicle is taking a long time to overtake, you should try to help the situation by slowing down. Your safety and the safety of other road users could be at risk if you maintain speed and prolong the time it takes for the overtaking maneuver to be completed. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe UK Learning's YouTube channel. Share with your friends and family. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get more videos. Your support will encourage us to make more videos. We wish you all the best for your exam.